Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is James Steiner. And this is a special episode, specifically right after WonderCon Anaheim. Man, that was a great time that I had. I'm going to be running a little gallery of pictures that I took while I was there. And I'm going to just go over what exactly I did and what exactly WonderCon was. Anybody that's watching this probably already knows what WonderCon is, but for those that don't, it's a convention. It's run by Comic-Con, like all other types of conventions in this area. Um, and it's just a real, real treat, okay? I was glad I was able to actually go here. And um, as you can see from the pictures, the main attraction is the cosplay at least it was for me a lot of people also go there for the comic books the video games and the other medias and you know to buy t-shirts to buy books get autographs from actors actresses uh, writers directors etc 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 but the main reason that i went there was for the cosplay because i had never been to a comic book convention ever before and I was interested to see how high fidelity these costumes were. And they were just pure brilliance. I mean, I, I was blown away by how much work people put into these costumes. I mean, there's just such a variety here. You've got steampunk. You've got anime. You've got comic book characters. You've got video game characters. You've got animated characters. The list just goes on on and on about how many different people how many different genres are being cosplayed here on top of that there were so many booths selling so much stuff the majority of it was admittedly comic books but some of these comic books they were vintage i mean original published 1960s 70s and 80s comic books they were expensive. I didn't buy any because I've never been a big comic book fan. But if you were there f to buy a vintage comic book from its appropriate era that's been sealed away and is in near mint condition, or at least a partially used condition, is in good condition regardless, this is the place to go. You buy, trade. There were also a couple areas that were buying and selling and trading, you know, trading cards, um, figurines. Uh, action figures, and then there were people selling t-shirts, stickers, books, uh, um, cell phone cases, wallets, little memorabilia, signed autographs. Uh, there was just so much stuff there. It was just pure brilliant. I mean, some of these costumes, I mean, look at this. There's kill a kill characters animes that i don't even know but i'm hoping you guys would be more than happy to enlighten me on some of these anime characters that i do not know but the steampunk ones were the most fascinating costumes there there's some really neat stuff here of course you've got marvel and dc superheroes uh, you know you've got deadpool batman um villains such as the joker uh, I mean, look at this entourage of Kill a Kill characters. I mean, wow. They, if I had to put a face to these characters, I would hire these these people here to play these characters. I mean, it, there's just so much work and detail they put into this stuff. I'm just blown away from it. I'm just blown away by it. Pardon me, words. I mean, even the video game characters, they look ex almost exactly the way they look in the video game it's just just it's just pure it's pure talent talent brilliance and dedication that's the main thing i love is these people's dedication to their appropriate genre and they really flesh out like this this space marine from the warhammer 20k i mean this guy he just towered over anyone i'm six foot I'm six foot two and a half, and this guy towered over me. This costume, I doubt he was actually that tall. He was probably on stilts or something, but because of the way he built the costume, I mean, it, he looks like a space marine from 40K. Then you got a lot of um, G.I. Joe. I, I assume this is a G.I. Joe enemy, but... And then you've got 
other people from classic TV shows. These are these are cosplayers. These are not the original actor or actress for Xena and Gabrielle from Xena Warrior Princess. But I mean, look at these costumes. They look genuine. And then I mean, seriously, look at these costumes. They look like they're made out of the correct material. And then of course, more kill a kill. I I, I couldn't resist. But you know, like this anime character, I have no idea which anime character this is from. I honestly don't know, but <laughs> she was more than happy to pose for me. So I'm just going to assume that anybody that does know will enlighten me on who this character is. But then you've got others like Cowboy Bebop. I mean, seriously, these costumes, this, it just works. And then Mandalorians, you, you gotta love the Mandalorians. And then more of the, I'm, I'm assuming this is from, um, God, what is that fighting game? I know which fighting game it's from. The, the the name is at the tip of my tongue. I'll probably put an annotation once I look it up and remember what it is. But I know that they're, she's from the same fighting game as the one that was with the green with the red beret. I know they're from the same game. I just can't remember what it is. But... I mean, there's just so much here, and the main thing is that I felt comfortable here. I'm not one for crowds, but I felt like I was at a, this was where I belong. I was among fellow geeks who would not judge me for who I am or what I like, because these guys are more than willing to show off their likes, their dislikes, just based on being there and dressing up in these kick ass costumes oh yeah there were also a couple of kick-ass characters that were there as well but i couldn't get close enough to get a few pictures of those these were all the ones that i came up with and these were the best that turned out so yeah overall i really enjoyed myself at this convention and maybe next time i will get my brother to come along we can do some filming while we're there but who knows it it cut it the Let's face it, it costs a bit of money to actually get into one of these things, and I'm sure there's a lot of regulations for bringing in recording equipment and whatnot that I'd have to, you know, get through a lot of red tape, but it might be so worth it just to show people what goes on at these conventions, interview some of these fans, and get to know some of them. It, it If anyone's interested in seeing stuff like that on this channel, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to go to some more of these conventions, you know, get some money back me, you know, get some money, buy a couple passes and just go there, record, take pictures and just overall have a good time with some of some people that have similar interests as I do and we do. Uh, until next time, I this has been James Steiner. And I hope you guys all have a good weekend, and hopefully I will see you guys next time at another convention, maybe. But until then, I guess I'll just continue playing video games and hope you guys enjoy. Later.